Yes, hello, good day everyone. Mina here to show me trying out wigs I got from a wig haul. These wigs came from Lolita in Wonderland, an FB shop catering pasabay orders of anything and everything Lolita and more. I got these wig lucky bags from them. Each set of three wigs are super cheap, so I figured, why not? It'll be my first time to try such a feat, so I am open to many suggestions regarding cosplay and wig wearing and care from everyone. I think by the time the intro is done, I'm finished with the trial of the first wig, but as you can see, I'm trying out the short wig set here. The first short wig is black and curly, kinda reminded me of the typical K-drama Oma. Super cute, super shiny, and I'm also reminded of a good co-teacher who wears a wig like this. We didn't talk very much but I hope he's doing good and I hope he still has his black wig. I also donned a simple makeup look here, one that I may use when I go out. I said may because I don't usually contour and put on mascara but it's a test thingy and who knows, maybe I'll improve in the future by doing this one. Anyways, I took time with this white wig one which is super weird because it has some parts that are stuck together as if it was styled previously. I don't know if lucky bag wigs are supposed to have these so it's kind of a first red flag for me but yes, here I am struggling to wear it and style it on my head. To be honest, short wigs intimidate me because my face is not made for short hairstyles. It highlights my itlog face which I sometimes don't enjoy seeing. <laughs> Much of the wig that was stuck together are in the bangs, so I tried fluffing them out and the rest of the wigs in an attempt to style them, but I obviously gave up at one point. But this particular style and color of wig is definitely giving Gojo Satoru vibes. And I'm not really familiar with a lot of characters who have white hair and this kind of short style, so if you know some, or you have suggestions of which character has these, let me know because I might shelf this particular wig in a while. At this point, I'm quite surprised that my wig cap is holding after changing the two wigs. Sana ko mapit siya to accommodate the changes of up to six wigs kasi ang hirap niyang suotin. I do have a bit of beef with lucky bags and things requiring luck like Lotto because you never really know if it's a hit or miss. In the case of the short wig set, it's pretty obvious that it's a miss with this particular last wig. It's a short brown wig, still shiny like the rest of the short wigs, but one of the hooks is missing in the lace cap. So when I put this up, I just tuck the straps under the wig cap. The bangs also look trimmed, which like with the white wig, looks as if it was previously styled which I found really strange. Still, like most wigs, I am not really sure of what's going on with it or what style it was supposed to be originally, but this kind of reminded me of Evelyn's hair from The Incredibles 2. I'm not sure if it's the correct thing because I've just seen that particular movie in clips, but let me know, should I keep this wig or not? I don't want to blame the Lucky Bag's low prices with their low quality. The three wig set is only 171 pesos for the short wig, while the next set that I'm about to try on is only 262 pesos. Not bad, right? Kaya ko rin pinatulan sa simula, so I guess it's kind of like karma. Remember what I said about how Lucky Bags can be a hit or miss? Minsan, it's also a way for the universe to tell you that I remembered you like this, and I think that's low-key what happened with the next long wig set. Share ko lang, my first ever wig was from the brand Manrelli, bought from an equally cute and reputable pasabay shop, Peachy Clothing. It's an ombre pastel wig with pink and purple accents, and as you can see, the first of the three long wigs is a purple one. Like the exact same light pastel or purple as my first wig. I mean, if the universe is shoving the pastels in my mouth, who am I to bite the hand that feeds me the softness, right? Anyways, like the short wig, this light purple wig is somehow styled with a side braid, but I'm not as mad as the short wigs because this is super soft. A little bit fragrant, definitely sturdier, and even though fly away na yung most ng strands niya, it's something I found comfy on my head. 
definitely reminded me of Karen's hair from Peachy Peachy Peach, which is a childhood favorite anime. I don't know if this is a sign, but I've always wanted to cosplay Lucia, but I think my underrated girlies deserve the spotlight too. We are halfway through and I'm still surprised that my wig cap is holding up. For God's sake, sana tumagal siya until I get to the last one. But here is the next one. It's a pink one. It's still the exact same color as my first wig, which is nakakaloka talaga. It's technically not a long wig, but it's a medium length wig with pigtails. With the pigtails, Chibi Usagi immediately came to mind, though because I haven't watched Sailor Moon yet, it wouldn't be right to cosplay her. Anyways, without the clips, it's giving Bob hairstyle vibes, and a bit of DIY may transform this to a dragon fruit wig in terms of color and visuals for something something fan canon JoJo cosplay. It has the same shine and thickness like the previous wigs that I tried. This color is more reminiscent of Ram, Ram from V Zero. Yeah, so it's definitely on the lighter side. I think it will be lighter once I try to remove the shine on it. But anyways, here are the pigtail clips. Yes, it comes in clips. They are also equally thick and very sturdy. And it seems that you can adjust the pigtails part, like the hair part of the pigtails by the cords that is around each clip. But what I really like about this one is that it's so easy to put on like this and it seems to clamp on your hair, on your scalp. And I think it's gonna be perfect for wigs that I will be wearing, especially for a very long time. As you guys know, I am very fond of the pigtails hairstyle. I just don't really wear it a lot because it's so brang nipis ng buko. So this wig giving me the chance to do pigtails so easily is like my favorite thing about this particular haul. We got one more wig to try on, so please, my dear wig cap, tumagal ka at kumapit ka. The last wig surprised me the most kasi isa na naman siyang purple wig. But unlike the wigs that I have prior to this, this one is an ombre kind of wig. Yung tipong parang nagpa-highlights ka lang ng buhok sa salon. It's the thickest one by far and it has this like Korean style bangs with it which is very similar than sa Man Relief wig ko, the very first wig that I have. To be honest, I really enjoyed wearing this wig because of its length and thickness. It's the kind of wig na kahit makapal siya, hindi mo ramdam yung bigat doon sa ulo mo. I think I don't really like the way yung Korean style bangs niya ay nandun kasi I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be at the same line as my hairline, lower or higher. Ito rin yung isa sa problems ko with my man really wig but overall I really enjoyed wearing this particular wig. That's it for this wig trial. Again, these are pre-order lucky bags from Lolita in Wonderland. If you want to gamble away, feel free to visit their FB page. Thanks for watching!